Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my going extended family, just I hope everything is going good for you. I know with us going, getting ready to head towards this big full moon that's coming up. I know it's a lot of things that's been coming up towards whether it's good or it's bad vibrations or whatever but I hope you can have seek peace of mind and happiness through this whole crazy ordeal <laughs> so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Oh my goodness. Um, or you just tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you know that a fellow empath or a loved one or a friend needs to hear, you know, going through their trying times, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving me. It's truly appreciated, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, uh, my meditation uh, music is Unlock DMT Activation Frequency Ultra Deep Delta Waves from Beta to Delta, 33 Hertz to 0 0.01 Hertz music. And I'll post that link in the description box below. Also, I don't want to turn it up too loud because I notice it has that, you know, but it's, it's very powerful. I can feel it because it's got me feeling euphoric. Um, and my video today is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't lose focus on what you are you are trying to achieve. Yes, because this is a lot. I'm telling y'all, this darkness is coming. And I know we're coming close to whatever is, whatever is intense is coming our way. So they got us going through everything. You know, if it ain't people from your past that's coming back that you know they done caused you issues and is bringing up unwanted feelings you know being around people that can throw you off your you know off your track or whatever there don't allow them to do that don't allow them to do that because it's just like you know they're they're human as well but they they got some serious issues for people to be coming up in your life and they're trying to d disrupt things because i've noticed there's been people where i got tested you know um losing track on the things that i'm going for you know past pattern memory patterns will come back up you and your negative thinking anything they'll throw you off track do not allow that to happen because like i said darkness is coming at you universe and god is testing you left and right um with this full moon coming it's bringing a whole bunch of crazy frequencies up so you're really dealing with a lot of things but you are stronger than you realize i keep telling y'all that you are so much stronger than you actually realize because you have done this before. You have did these many, 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 many millenniums ago. And you know, it's just like you had to be a really big badass for you to be dealing with you, what you're dealing with now. And they know that, you know, and it's just like I keep getting these visions, like wherever we were before, they had this talk with us saying, you know, this the next time you come through this, you know, it's going to be very intense. You're like, hey, I got it. And you didn't realize what the heck you were saying at that time because you really knew you were going to go through it. So it's just, I know a lot of y'all are going through this at that time. You know, you're heading towards something you, you're trying so desperately to achieve. And me as well, you know, I love what I do. I, I said I always wanted to be, you know, that person that helped people out in life. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was going to do it. Knowing I wanted to bring some joy and positivity and love towards many, many people. I wanted people to heal where it was hard to heal from. Let go of things we never thought we would be able to let go of. You know, separate ourselves from things that are no longer serving us. I mean, all these different things can affect you on the things that you're achieving so it's just like like i said before there's empaths that you know have addictions you know um a lot of things that they were there to comfort you you know like i tell people you know being addicted to something is it a it's an escape like even, it doesn't even have to be a drug it could be just the way of your thinking what if what kind of vibrations you're pushing out um being stuck in the past uh you know, not healing from things, 
casting blame on other people when you're not seeing the things that you're causing yourself yeah there's other people doing stuff but you have to be able to see the things that you were doing as well you know like i can like i said you know i might say things that you know my family has put me through but there's decisions i've made as well that i could have went a different route about it but you know we all learn you know so don't be hard on yourself when you went through something because everything is like from what i'm hearing everything is at divine timing you had to be able to go through this to get to it you know so don't get upset thinking oh it's too late for this or i'm not on track for this or you know i'm you know i'm being left behind when you know you're constantly going through this this rotating wheel where you know you're thinking about you know you were in abuse uh how people treated you how people um pushed out things towards you that you truly didn't deserve um with us being hey Oka's, we're gonna get that a lot <laughs> you know we're gonna get people that are ready to attack us like you know i told y'all there have been people like i love youtube i don't really watch tv i got my shows that i watch on monday but other than that you know i dvr those and um so i i don't really watch tv like that so it's just a lot of things is you know this out there i don't you know it, it passes it brings out a lot of a lot of vibes or whatever so it's just like when i watch uh youtube you know i can give my opinion about certain things and other people have pretty much the same you know a few people can have pretty much the same opinion but i don't see these people getting attacked like i would get attacked i'm like why the heck are these people trying to say you know come at me up but this is my opinion you know you get mad at me about my opinion but that's what these videos are out for. Just like, you know, I can see, you know, if you if you're di you feel different towards me, I'm not going to condemn you for that. Now, if you're coming at me trying to be an a hole or trying to provoke me in a certain way, or you're trying to get a, a negative bandwagon going, heck yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna chomp you off, or either I'm going to sit up here and just delete the you know delete the comment and block you, whatever. You know, I I tell people you don't have to have the same um, opinion as I do. You either can say you related towards this or you're related you can't be related towards me you know certain things that i say you know but like i tell people this is my channel so i'm gonna say what i want to say you know i'm not going out there and belittling anybody but i i tell people you know is it's not meant for us to be born and stay in a dark place it's not meant for you to be thinking the world is punishing you you know i see a lot of people that like to get attention that way you know i try to tell them hey you're just going through this phase you have to be able to heal and love yourself and then they get upset what you trying to say i don't love myself for you to be thinking so neg negatively of yourself there you're lacking some kind of self-love in yourself that you don't love and there's hey i've been there because that's why i can say that because i've been through that route too you know so for me to be able to recognize that you know people get offensive over certain things or they they think i pose a threat or whatever but that's just insecurities you're casting out your insecurities towards a certain person just like you might be going through the same thing like Rosalind these people keep coming at me I can say something that they need to hear and they don't like hearing it people don't not everybody like to hear the truth there are some people that are like thank you I'm glad you told me this now that gives me time to work on myself or people like how, how you gonna know me this and this and that you don't know me like that look you know obviously you don't know yourself like that either because these are the things you're casting out you know and that that's you know that's that's corrective criticism a lot of people don't like that like you know when y'all tell me oh, okay like during my old videos i didn't realize that certain certain meditation musics you know was you know vibrating where it threw off from the message you weren't being able to get the message because you were so fixated on that beat so that i was like oh thank you you know i'm sorry that that happened but that you know during my old videos i wasn't really thinking about that because when i hear it on my end it's not that intense but you know i can't say that on your end you could be watching on your cell phone or you could be watching on your laptop or your computer if you're on your cell phone and got the earbuds in yeah it might be pretty pretty intense that's why i try not to play it too loud or I'm very specific about what which ones that i play so you know i love the corrective criticism like people tell me oh you know your quality of that you know the video is bad i'm like look you know i'm, I'm on my laptop i don't have these really expensive cameras like other people do i'm working myself up you know just, but that doesn't take away from the message you either gonna like the video or you don't so it, it's just like i try not to take a lot of things personal even though us being in our human form we will do that you know but i said 
I know what purpose I'm trying to bring. You know, everybody has a right to their opinion. As long as you're not insulting somebody or belittling them, you know, because it's just like with us, we can be very blunt. You know, I used to, my mom used to tell me, Rosalind, you have no cooth. You are not tactful. You know, you say really hurtful things. And I wasn't really trying to do that, but I didn't bite my tongue on certain things either. I was like, dang, I said that out loud. Yeah, I did. Oops, sorry. You know, but I know I got that from my dad. My, you know, I don't really know my mom like that, but I know it's my dad who used to tell people that. He was like, I don't care. <laughs> you know, he had, that, he had the attitude like, you know how you feel, and he really didn't care. But it's just like now I try to be mindful of how I project things out to people. I try to be mindful, you know, of how people try to perceive, you know, because I'm just like, oh, do you understand what I was talking about? I'm not trying to say you're stupid, but I don't want you to make any assumptions either. But, you know, when you're, you know, you're heading towards something and, you know, you have a goal on certain things that you, I don't really like saying goals, but, you know, if there's something that you really trying to, trying to do in life and you're really working towards that certain thing that you're trying to do in life that you're manifesting for your life as well as your for your loved ones or just for yourself you know don't allow what other people think contradict you on the things that you're going for just because it didn't work out for them does not mean it's not going to work out for you you know people that see light stronger light in you you're going to be threatened by you so they're going to throw things in your mix for you just to engage in it to see if they can you know if they can swatch you to see if you're going to attack them back don't allow them to do that don't let somebody's stupidity and ignorance to engage in that you know there's sometimes you just have to walk off there you know i've had to do that you know like i told y'all about certain videos i posted i mean not vote uh posted but there are certain things that i have my opinion about and people just kept came, coming at me i'm like look i don't know what your point you're trying to prove but i'm not about to sit up here and spend my day on going back and forth with you about us not even knowing the people that we're talking about not even knowing them on a personal level so you got your opinion i got mine so just leave it at that and they want to keep going they'll be you know they'll be going back and forth by themselves and i'll just push mute just allow myself not to even see the comments just because I know that's going to piss me off and I'm going to be ready to clap back at you so quick. And I'm not going to do that because it's just like I can't, there are certain things you, I mean, you've got to keep quiet about. It's not that, you know, my pride to be like, oh, I ain't going to let you embarrass me like that. But it's just that sometimes you have to be able to let stuff like that go. You know, like you being a YouTuber, if you want to be a YouTuber, you have to, especially it depends on what you're going to do. Not everybody's going to like what you do. There's going to be some people that are going to come and make personal jabs at you because they're feeling some type of way. You know, there. I mean, people say they hate me. I'm like, you don't even know me to hate me. You know, that's telling something more about yourself than you are about me. You know, so I, it, it's just like I had to be able to take that tough skin. I had to be able to allow certain things to roll off my back. You know, before I wasn't able to do that, but I, you know, I have to step back and tell universe, Ooh, I'm so proud of myself because any other time I would have been like, I forget, forget this. I'm done. I don't want to do it no more. I'm tired of people coming at me. And then you're let, allowing things to fester and you're allowing these things that these people are pushing out to you affect you on what you're doing. Don't allow that. You know, if you're working towards something, you keep doing you, you keep shining, you keep working on the things you're working for. It might take you to go through hell and hot water to get back, but you already know you're working towards this. You're seeing signs that's happening. It might take a, a little bit. Yeah, because especially, you know, universe wants you to work on patience. Universe wants you to have faith. Universe wants you to have, be able to believe in stuff that you cannot physically see, you cannot physically touch. Because a lot of us, be like, I'll see it to believe it. You can't be that way, especially if you know the universe is trying to manifest something for you. So keep doing you, keep shining. Don't allow anybody to tell you what you can't do. You know, if you hear no, that means next opportunity. You keep going. You can't go down this road. This road is blocked. Turn around and go back the other way. I mean, don't stop doing what you need to do because things will come in your way to test you to see how far you want to go. Are you going to give up as soon as the, as, as the roads get rough? No. Because that's letting the universe know I'm willing to go through whatever it takes for me to get where I got to get. So when they see that and you're going to be training yourself to let you know. So when at the end of the day, when you finally get what you want, make sure you, you still show gratitude to the universe. to Let them know. Don't don't get somewhere and then get, you know, all high and mighty thinking you don't, you know, because that can be quickly taken away. So be grateful for the things that is coming into your life, whether it's little or just, you know, even a drop. Just be grateful for those things because that means bigger things are coming for you when you show your gratitude. But don't allow anybody's ignorance or anybody's uh, insecurity to stop you from doing you.
So I hope you're able to re resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. Drop me a line and let me know if you're resonating with this. I would truly love to hear your your uh, your your opinion. And you know, like and subscribe, share, share, share. You know, um, hit the notification bell. My post notification shout out goes to Hayoka Rumor Gabriel from Shining Soul. The raise, I mean, I'm sorry, raising. The Raising Soul. I apologize. Alien Vegan. And many blessings to y'all. I hope you have a blessed weekend. Be safe. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing me as well as others are praying for your better days. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.